Welcome back to my YouTube channel and the question for today is Pascal's Triangle. So this is a very famous question for the programming and uh, in it uh, there is a simple Pascal Triangle. So what Pascal Triangle says that that the next row will be determined by the sum of the earlier rows and one will be added like that, so like that one 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 and like that in the animation that is shown right over there. So basically given the number of rows that is n. So we have to return the Pascal triangle up to that. For example, for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is the Pascal triangle and this is how we return it. Alright. So the question is kind of a basic one, but yet complicated. Yeah. Now we have to think that how we are going to solve this problem. It's kind of a pretty much the solution is in front of us. So one thing we know that there are two ones that we are supposed to add for every row. Right. Uh, except uh, let's uh, uh, suppose up from here uh, as we start so basically for every row we have to add two ones in order to make our final entire row so what are the rest of numbers that make up the row the rest of the numbers are the sum of the elements present in the previous row so yeah now let's see it so here if we are here then 1 plus 3 4 3 plus uh, 3 6 3 plus 1 4 and we add 1 and 1 and we get that final answer so I hope that's clear, the approach is clear, there is no need to think that much into deep for this question. It's just simple how you visualize this, we code it like that. Alright, now moving on towards the very simple code for this problem. Now the code is as friend like this. So basically we have to return a 2D array list where 0 array list represent the at every level. Alright, now basically we for the initial really we add 1 to it. Now how we make our final answer now just for every row up to the number of rows that we have we just create a new array list that will be added as the that row particular row into the triangle that is a final answer all right now we get the previous row we get the previous row we add one to it because every row contains one one now we have to make this element these element is the nothing but the numbers that are present the sum of the numbers that are present above Alright, so we have added the one number and it since the length is 1 for the first row, so it would be 1, 1 because that one is added here. Now for this row, let's see over here how the code runs. Alright, we have this row, we add 1 to it. Now if we traverse this row, we have the sum of the elements and we add them, that is 2. Now we add our final 1 and we have another row. Now for the another row, we add first 1, then we sum of these 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 1, 3 and again this is up to here and we add one more one all right so that's how we build our final triangle i hope the code is clear i hope the approach as well it's just the visualization how we code it all right now let's uh, submit this code uh, again and see if it's accepted on so as you can see it's accepted so if you have any doubt regarding the code or the approach for this problem please feel free to reach me in the comment section i will surely reply to every one of you and if you like this video please press the like button share it among your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching bye bye